Happy holidays, everyone. Let me get a little more festive. Huh, much better. Wait, one more thing. I have something to show you. I got a gift we can open together. What? A brand new STEM kit. Oh dear, what happened to the laboratory lights? Well, actually, this will work out perfectly. The glow in the dark crystal labs and glows in the dark. Let's light up our geology skills. Today, we're unboxing the glow in the dark crystal lab, the perfect holiday experiment that turns your festivities into a scientific spectacle. Super genius. Wow, well, look at what we have here. A glow-in-the-dark crystal lab kit. Who is ready to unbox this with me? Oh, who can that be? Yeah, hello? Hello, Professor. Sorry, I am receiving a phone call from one of my good friends down the hallway. The lights do not work in my lab. Could I come over to yours? I hate to admit it, but I am scared of the dark. What? What do you mean you are scared of the dark? I have poor night vision and it frightens me. Fine, but I hope you do not mind being on YouTube. I am filming a show for the kids and could use an assistant for my newest experiment. Hello and welcome back. I am joined by one of my fellow scientists. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I am Dr. Toodles. Pleasure to meet you. Actually, would you mind taking this episode over for me? All right, how exciting. I need to find out what happened to our power. Don't worry, I'll take it from here. Hey there, junior scientists. Get ready for a glow-tastic adventure with the glow in the dark crystal lab, where you can create your very own crystals. It's like having your very own magical crystal disco right at home. Here's a list of what's included in the glow in the dark crystal lab kit. Let's first take a look at the crystal growing powder, the magic potion in the glow in the dark crystal lab, our giggly glow secret sauce for turning ordinary into extraordinary, Next up is the crystal seed rock. Mix it with our enchanted crystal growing powder. Add a dash of boiling hot water and watch the magic unfold as you kickstart the dazzling growth of your very own glow-in-the-dark crystals. But do be careful. Both mixtures contain toxic chemicals and adult supervision is required. After pouring both solutions, you will need a mixing spoon. Your magic wand for the crystal lab. This magical utensil swirls the enchantment making you the master conductor of the sparkling symphony. Trust me, you will need this next one, the magnifying glass, your scientific secret weapon in the glow-in-the-dark crystal lab. It's like having X-ray vision for your crystals, revealing every glittery detail up close. Wait a minute, there is something else in there. No way, it's... it's... It's genuine fluorite. Formed deep within the Earth's crust through a natural process, this dazzling gem is a rainbow in rock form. And we have it here in our very own possession. Very neat. Boy, the professor sure would love to see this. Speaking of the professor, he sure has been gone a while. I hope he is all right. All right now, professor. Nothing to be scared of. It's just the dark, the absence of light. Oh, goodness, what does this all mean? Does anyone know an electrician? Anyway, who is ready to create our very own crystals? Let's begin. First, we will need a trash bag just in case things get rather messy. Again, safety comes first. We are using boiling water for our experiment. Make sure adults only handle the boiling water. Trust me on this one. You can mix the growing powder and the rock seed together in the pot, but for our experiment, we'll use this mason jar because it is see-through. Again, you do not have to do this at home. Just make sure you have 200 milliliters of hot water left for the mixing process. Now comes the crystal babysitting part. Make sure you store it in a relatively warm and safe area and tell it a funny joke or two. It will love a good laugh. <laughs> this is the part where we have to be patient. It may take up to seven days for the crystal to fully form. Wait a minute. Seven days? I'm not going to wait seven days. Who has the patience for that? Not to worry. I have a solution. In my lab, I created a time-traveling watch. Unfortunately, fellow scientists, the time-traveling watch does not come with your STEM kit. But for time's sake of the YouTube video, we will be using it. Just a word of caution. Please don't tell the professor we did this. He is very cautious about interrupting the time-space continuum. Everyone, remain calm and hang on. 
Wow, it worked! It's seven days later. The power still appears to be off. It appears the professor couldn't fix the electricity. <laughs> Let's see what our lab-grown crystal looks like now. Wow, there is a crystal growing inside. Now let's remove the crystal and see what it looks like. Would you look at that? Oh, that is so cool. But does it glow in the dark? Wow! Our science project was a complete success. And there you have it, geologists. We've successfully grown our glow-in-the-dark crystals. And it's been a blast exploring the wonders of science together. Remember, patience is key when waiting for your crystal to reach its full glow-up potential. Naturally, crystals may take a thousand years to form in the Earth's crust. I guess I really need to work on my patience. I'll make that my New Year's resolution. The lights are back on. Hello? Dr. Toodles, what happened? I have been trying to call you for the last seven days. Oh, you have? Interesting. Well, I guess my phone has been on silent. Oh, well, I guess that explains that. I think I found the root cause of the power outage. Oh, you did now? You were working on that time machine watch. Shh. Oh, no. I think the professor found out about my time machine watch. It might have blown the fuse when I was working on it. No, of course not. Time travel is dangerous. Oh, really? Why would anyone even want a time machine? Living in the present is way too much fun. Hmm. I guess it's a holiday mystery.